Hallo Robert. Hallo Oma. Jetzt geht das schon wieder los. English, please. So that everybody understands. Okay. Hel Hello, Mark. Hello. Yes, very good. Okay. Or oh, subtitles. Subtitles. Yeah. All right. Um, a few years ago, we made an um, interview in the studio. Um, how was the feedback of your fans? Um, people really liked it. Yes. Uh, and I had a few discussions. About? The moment when I showed uh, the machine and not the 909. Yeah, that was legendary. <laughs> Even I was very astonished. <laughs> so um, that yeah. means that... It was um, super funny for me because everybody expected. <laughs> <laughs> Because you made something like, say. ta -da, here we go. But nowadays you are more into the real machines again. Yeah, I'm, I'm using uh, the, my, my real 909 again. Even I have the, the new TR, TR9, right? TR8, the new one from Roland, but um, I'm using both. All right. 909 divided with three is? <laughs> Maybe a secret super machine called <laughs> 303 303 yeah, and this is why we are now sitting here together because robert is about to release a new sound pack called hands on 303 on the legendary i use this hands yes these ha <laughs> these hands on the legendary label systematic sounds um, I have a few questions for this fellow and we start with uh, the first one. I would like you to explain the beginners especially what a TB303 actually is. Uh, it's a little silver box this size, this uh, made of plastic, cheap plastic from the 80s. It uh, looks cheap, but sounds amazing. It's a monophonic analog synthesizer with a very limited sequencer. Um, but that's actually the, uh, the advantage of this machine, <laughs> because it's so limited. And when you heard about it for the first time, you thought it was a big box. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, you know, um, I was quite young when uh, the first asset house wave happened and at that time i thought it must be a huge modular type of synth super big because uh, the sound was so amazing and so alive <clears throat> and then i was really disappointed when i had my own uh, in my hands yeah same here by the way because um, when i heard about it for the first time and all this legendary background with Acid House and all this stuff. I couldn't believe it when I saw it and was disappointed as you were, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So what makes a TB303 so special and uh, particular? I think uh, the limitation is, is very important and that <clears throat> you do all the modulation with your hands. It's, it's very different to any other synthesizer where you put an LFO on something and it, it makes this modulation. On the TP3, you use your hands and modulate if you want to modulate. And then there's the sequencer that is very, very different to program to any other sequencer I ever had. But why? What, what is so special? I mean, there are so many machines around and there were so many also bass synthesizers uh, released in the 70s and 80s. But why this um, little trash box? What, what is so uh, special? I think the, so special? First, the, the basic sound is, is really amazing. Uh, but for me, like from, from, from personally for me, it starts to get almost magic as soon as you do some processing on the sound. When you, when you play the TB3 without anything, it sounds interesting, but when, when you double it or when, when I use compression or uh, use my tape machine, 
and it gets just magic. Like, yeah, really magic. And it's, it's something uh, I have done for this pack um, as well. Like I used all my techniques that I use for my own tracks for this, uh, for the sounds. And I think it's also the accent and slide which makes yeah, it Yeah, right. Yeah, you, you, outstanding. I, I don't know any other synth that had this slide thing before. Well, I think that um, the limitation of this machine is actually the magical yeah, background. It's, it's there, because it's the other bass uh, machines were bass machines, but this little box was supposed to be a bass, bass player. Um, replacement. Yeah, you can slide on, on the base. Exactly. So, yeah. so Makes sense. But it uh, really flopped on the market, right? When it came out. That's what people told me, yeah. They didn't sell too many and that's why it's such a rare instrument these days. Yeah. Yeah, very exciting. So, um, to come to your second uh, AKA, Rob Acid. Do you remember when you uh, had the idea to call yourself Rob Acid? Um, and do you know the reason or do you remember the reason? Uh, you felt already like uh, the figure <laughs> three in person. Um, bef bef before Rob Acid I had another um, project called Cologne Acid Science Tracks. Um, and that were the first releases. And and then, uh, around the same time, uh, you, you know Oliver Bonzio as well, Hard Law. Yes. He, 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 uh, he lent me his th uh, 303 uh, uh, and his 909 and 606. And the spinball machine. <laughs> no. <laughs> and um, because he was. I think I had this machine, uh, his his tools for two three weeks. I'm not mm -hmm. sure anymore, but I, I was recording many many tracks on a cassette. Uh, and when I uh, s sent this cassette to a label, they they loved it so so much. And then they asked me, okay, how how should we call this project? And I had, had no idea. <laughs> Almost uh, uh, desperate. Yeah, it, it, it was like lo a logical thing, and I was a very young, crazy man. <laughs> <laughs> but really, <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Uh, yeah, and Rob Bassett was almost obvious somehow. It, there's no real story behind it. It was somehow obvious and then it started to get magical during the years because I was really crazy. I, I loved, about it. I loved uh, <laughs> this machine and um, during that days I was producing so much. Sometimes uh, I, I, I think one, I still remember one day when uh, I made 10 tracks per day. So it was like a trip. Yeah. So I was or tripping, like ten trips. <laughs> tripping on <laughs> tripping on acid with a TB33, doing music, 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 music. Are these all tracks still available, by the way? Uh, no, they were all, all only released on vinyl. But they better uh, should. They should come back. Yeah. We work on it. No worries. <laughs> Yeah, something very interesting for the producer guys. Um, there are endless um, clones of the 303 around, mm -hmm. virtually, but also as hardware. Is there any um, model which you uh, could recommend to um, musicians who don't um, have the money to just buy it? Yeah, before you even before you buy a hardware clone, I would recommend the ABL uh, 303 plugin because uh, I think it's it's even better than most of the uh, X Xbox box uh, kind of machines. And <laughs> anti advertisement at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but uh, I, I was using the ABL plugin for, for really for a lot of garbage uh, productions. 
And just uh, a few years ago, I started. Uh, I think last year when I when I started to do uh, rock acid tracks again, uh, I started to use my real uh, CB again. Before that, like all the last pa fast last five years, most of the 303 sounds came from this plugin. Wow, didn't know that. So how many percent uh, close to the original? 90, 70, 98, what would you I would say? 90. Say? 90. Yeah, just the, the rest, this, this living aspect is, uh, you, yeah, you cannot get it. It's, you have to touch the TB and then it's different. Yeah, that's true. For basic, for basic lines where you, you don't do too much uh, modulation, the plugin is really good. So I have uh, also a recommendation, although it's not my pack, but um, I really like the D16 plugin. The guys from they, Poland. They, they are good. The, the problem is it's so advanced that it's not a 303 anymore. <laughs> in, in a way, uh, they, they, uh, they made uh, the, the plugin is really cool, mm. but it's, you have so many possibilities, it's too much. It's not a, like, I never liked uh, a modified uh, 303. There are a few ways you can modify a 303, and I hate all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like uh, the presets uh, with the overgain uh, function, for example. I, I find it really uh, original and really authentical. And um, they're not paying me, but uh, I thought it could be added. But a uh, really good uh, Polish company. And Polish company. Com Polish so company. Polish see. producer with Polish roots. <laughs> with Polish German, roots with and Polish I would say, yeah, yeah, super company, definitely. On Polish chrome. <laughs> 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 All right, um, yeah, now a tricky one. Um, do we have a favorite, um, favorite 303 track and why? Uh, I think the, the still my favorite is uh, Future Acid Tracks. DJ Pierre, <coughs> DJ Pierre, Pierre. yeah. Uh, it's 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 uh, there's <clears throat> I, uh, in in many interviews I, I I spoke about the the moment when uh, I was a child and um, around when when I was nine years old and I heard like first real electronic music and I thought it's um, music from outer space yes <laughs> and this I had almost the same uh, same feelings when I when I heard this music I thought it's so abstract so different to anything I heard before uh, I, I was crying when I uh, I heard this track um, I had headphones on uh, in the living room of my parents uh, listening to radio music and I, I had tears because uh, it was I thought it's it's alien music. Yeah, I can. <laughs> so completely it's, it's, it's agree. it will be in my mind forever. I bought this. My first uh, record was the sampler on BCM records called uh, Acid House Inferno. I, I had this Future one, yeah. tracks was also on it. Yeah, but I, in I, a I cut had it way, on radio. <laughs> in the cut way, but there were several other huge Acid House tracks on it. Okay. Uh, last question, and now to your uh, upcoming uh, sound pack, mm -hmm. Hands on 303. Uh, what can people expect from this pack, and what makes it so special to buy it, to purchase it? Um, I just thought about what kind of, um, if, if I use sample packs or loop packs, uh, what do I need? For myself, and uh, sometimes uh, uh, loops where you can uh, combine elements together and give you new ideas, uh, like an inspiration, and then they should give me a sound that uh, is different. Mm -hmm. And I think I made a few experiments on this and used really all my 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 spaceship studio. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> to process, I, I think just uh, on some of the loops, just the the processing chain is is like ten times the price of the TB three. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> ten times. Ten times. I know the chain, so I would say fifty times. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. So um, I think people will get a sound that uh, it's almost impossible to get by by themselves, mm. and they can use all those elements. Um, you can combine the loops, put them together, uh, use the sounds by by itself. Uh, no, I. I'm looking forward to use them myself. Yeah, that's always uh, the best uh, improvement uh, for a high quality product. But you told me before this interview that um, there's another very nice feature in the spec. You recorded similar patterns mm -hmm. in very um, yeah, different I, I, ways. Yeah, I, I made, um, I, uh, let me remember, I think. Uh, it's because I did different series. This and one was 16 patterns in so 16 16 different patterns, but I recorded them uh, through different kind of processing uh, again and again and again and again the same the same notes, but with completely different uh, processing. So <clears throat> that means you can combine. Uh, patterns in a row, but you can put them on top on and, and down. You can double layer them. Double layer, make uh, different kinds of layers, put them like one with uh, tape delay on the right side of the padding and one with a different kind of guitar pedal on the, on the other side, uh, create uh, effects you never had before. Okay, but this means, and this is really interesting when it comes to the sound pack, you have endless possibilities to combine the different patterns and this means that everybody can uh, generate his own individual uh, baseline nobody uh, else has or throw, yeah, you, you can, or throw yeah, somebody as a, else as a, as a, as a starting as well. point or inspiration and then you I mean with, with the tools today uh, you don't have to use the line how, how it is you can cut it up in any way and, and recreate your own thing with this. Yeah, because with this combination, the sky's the limit and everybody can yeah. uh, create and, uh, what he with, wants. With all these with, different variations. I, with I, your I, support. <laughs> that's uh, something I'm, I'm looking uh, for myself because I think uh, if I use like every two notes a different combination and then put them together and, and put them in the panning and then compress them again should be something new. This sounds very amazing. So you have the possibility to get the sound pack from March the 3rd on. My partner Jürgen Driessen at Systematic Sounds and myself, we are very proud and excited uh, to have uh, this pack in our catalog very soon. March the 3rd, 2017 was, is uh, the street date. It was very funny to work on it. Special date <laughs> because it's 3.03.2017 three, two <laughs> and uh, what yeah. a surprise. What a surprise. And now you have the possibility, I mean the first time because I don't know any sound pack like this which is out yet. So you have now the possibility to produce authentical acid house with the support. Yeah, in, in, a, in a very own it. way. It's, it's not the, the typical it's 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 very unique because it's different yeah i i, I mean i i have a kind of own way of programming stuff so um it's not just <laughs> it's more of a, a musical phrase you know yeah this is how we know you yeah thanks a lot and thank you watch out Thank you.